this tip of the day, let's take a look at the one CNC start and finish clearance. Now, typically start and finish clearance are used when performing multi-axis machining. You can think of the start and finish clearance as an extra rapid move just to make sure that tool is clear of the part and the fixture when it rotates or indexes. Let me demonstrate. Let's head over to the NC manager and you can see we have two profile operations. We're going to profile this side and then profile this side right here. All right, now if we were to edit one of these machining operations, right hand mouse click, edit operation, I'm going to show you where that start and finish clearance values are. Let's click next. Within our clearances and depths, you can see here's our start and finish clearance. When using two and a half axis and three axis machining, typically that's turned off. But for multi axis machining, you can use this to set an extra clearance value, again, just to make sure that tool clears that fixture in part when it indexes or rotates. In this example, we're going to use two inches. Now I have that set on both these profile operations. So if I were to preview this, Let's zoom out just a little bit. Here's our first profile operation. When that tool is finished, it's going to wrap it up to that two inch clearance plane. There we go. And there's the index. Tool clears the part in the fixture. Now we're going to come down and profile both of these holes. And when this machining operation is finished, the tool is going to wrap it back up to that finished clearance of two inches. Very nice. And also notice how smart this is. In between both of these holes, the tool just wraps up to the standard retract clearance value. Okay, very, very good. Now, though the start and finish clearance values are typically used for multi-axis machining, you can use them for two and a half axis machining as well. Let me demonstrate. Let's open up a brand new window here. You can see we have a part that has four pockets and a boss that separates both of those. All right, so let's go into our stock tool pass. Let's go into our pocket operation. Select this pocket, then this pocket, right hand mouse click. And we're going to be using a quarter inch diameter end mill. Speeds and fees look great, so I'm going to leave that alone. We'll click next on that. So when using two and a half axis and three axis machining, typically that's going to be turned off and that's the way it should be. But in this example, we're going to turn that on and we're going to tell one CNC to take that tool after it's machined both of these pockets to wrap it up to one inch. And by the way, these orange corners represent the start and finish clearance. If I put in a big value, those orange corners are dynamic dynamically going to move up there. So that's a nice visual feedback there. Okay, one inch looks great. Our standard rapid Z plane between each pocket is going to be 200 thousands. We'll click next on that. High speed closed machining looks fine. Our approach looks good. Our step over looks fine. That looks great. We'll click finish and let one CNC generate the toolpath. All right, very good. So after it's machined both of these pockets, the tool's up here at one inch above. But notice how smart this is. If we look at the transition from this pocket to this pocket, it just used that 200 thousandths. Very nice. Okay, let's go back over into the command manager. Go back into our pocket operation. Now we'll select both of these pockets. Right hand mouse click. We're going to use the exact same parameters here. So that looks good. That looks great. There's our one inch start and finish clearance, high speed closed, approach looks good, step over looks great, all that looks good. There's our tool path and let's take all the tool path into preview so you can see what's happening. I'm going to slow this down just a little bit. So when it's finished with this pocket, it's just going to wrap it up to that 200 thousandths and move to the second pocket. However, when this second pocket is completed, because that's the end of that cycle, it's going to move up to that one inch. Let's speed that up up to one inch, clears the boss, comes back down, and as it transitions from this pocket to this pocket, it's just using that 200 thousandths, and when it's all said and done, the tool goes back up to one inch. Very, very nice. Hey, thank you so much for watching this tip of the day. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.